Because here's the problem if we try to factor this out by grouping is, I mean, I don't, that middle term, it's probably going to have an x and a z, which is really going to screw things up pretty bad. Plus x minus 1 squared, that's going to give you x squared minus 2x plus 1, then minus z squared. See how jacked up that thing looks? No good. So as it turns out, looks like we're going to need the formula for this one. Because right here we have the first term, which would kind of be an a squared minus a b squared, right? Except the a now is, well, it's kind of an expression, x minus 1. And the b in this case is z. So when we rewrite this, because this gives us uh, a minus b and a plus b, well, we can go in and change our a's to x minus 1. And we would also need to change the b's. That's plus, by the way. The b is a z. Um, it just has to do with the formula, the way it is. And we kind of see that with the factoring by grouping. If we make that, because it's a negative z squared, right? If it was a negative 25, we would split this up into 5 and negative 5. And that shows up here. We got the negative z and the positive z right there. So when we FOIL this thing and we multiply those two, we still end up with a negative z squared. Yeah, that's the final answer. Let me rewrite it down here. What the heck? So yeah, this would be our final answer right here. Now, if we could combine like terms on the inside of that parentheses, we would. But in this case, we can't, so we won't.